Shotguns digest more shells in a season than most rifles will in a lifetime. They get knocked around in the uplands, splattered with mud in the marsh, and shot and shot and shot at the range. A lot of people don't like the idea of spending any more than necessary on a gun that has to take such abuse. That is why in this video, we bring you the best budget shotguns available today. Number 10. Mossberg Maverick 88 Made in Mexico, the Maverick 88 is a budget Mossberg 500, which seems like a redundancy. It's essentially the same gun, but with a cross-bolt safety in place of the 500's top safety. The 88 is also the least expensive pump gun we could find, undercutting the Chinese-made Savage 320 by $7. For just a little over $200, you get a lock, stock, and barrel, plus one choke tube and a middle bead. It comes in black plastic, 3-inch, 12-gauge only, and weighs about 7 pounds. We have seen them being shot 25 straight on the skeet field with a Model 88, which suggests they shoot where you point them, and we've seen them work reliably in the field too. Number 9. Remington 870 Express The most popular shotgun of all time, the 870 Pump, was introduced in a budget Express version in 1987 with a planar finish and a hardwood stock. It has a steel receiver and twin action bars to keep its stroke smooth. It was sold in both hardwood or synthetic in 3-inch 12 or 20, as well as a few in 410. Again, you get no frills here, and the finish is quick to rust and requires care, but inside it is the same reliable gun shooters have relied on since 1950. Earlier this year, a duck hunting shotgun test was confucted. Herein, people got to shoot one of the first newly reintroduced 870s since bankrupt Remington Arms came under the ownership of Rem Arms in 2020. How well did the new 870 shoot? Well enough to win the organizer's title of Best Pump Gun for 2021. Number 8. Stoger M3000 If you yearn for an inertia semi-auto but don't have the cash for a Benelli or an A5, the Stoger M3000 may be for you. Owned by Benelli, Turkish gunmaker Stoger turns out eerily similar semi-autos at a much lower price. Although you do give up something in fit and finish, the M3000 has the same light weight and slim lines of a Benelli, and the same reliable action that's known for running in the worst weather conditions. As Turkish semi-autos improve, the Stoger becomes a better and better option, and with an affordable street price, it's less than half the price of a Benelli. Number 7. Weatherby SA-08 Friends don't let friends shoot cheap gas semi-autos. They are a headache, unless the one in question is a Stoger known as Weatherby SA-08. This plain Turkish-made gas gun is slim and lightweight, and it does nothing but work without a fuss. A lot of people own these, and we have yet to hear a serious complaint. The design is outdated. You have to switch between two different pistons depending on whether you're shooting light or heavy loads, but outside of that minor inconvenience, the SA-08 delivers reliable performance. Perhaps because it's so light, 6.5 pounds in 3-inch 12 gauge. It doesn't offer the same reduced recoil sensation of other semi-autos, but for the price, a lot of hunters don't mind a little extra punch. Number 6. CZ Drake The CZ Drake's price tag reads like a typo. No OU should cost as little as it does, yet it's a solid gun that gives you all the advantages of a brake action, two chokes, compact balance, at a low-end semi-auto cost. Made in Turkey, the Drake comes in 12, 20, 28, and 410. It doesn't have much in the way of engraving or fancy wood, and its extractors lift spent shells instead of kicking them out like ejectors. In short, it's a bare-bones OU that works, and that's no small thing at under $700 complete with hard case and five choke tubes. 5. Beretta A300 Outlander When you ask us what you should buy for a first shotgun, we would point you to the A300. Like the SA-08, it's based on second-generation technology, but in this case, it's a budget version of the excellent Beretta 391, simplified, changed a little, and made in the United States. The least expensive model is the synthetic version, which features spacers that let you change the stock length up to an inch to fit smaller shooters. The gas system is famously reliable, and the gun shoots all loads without adjustment. Really, this is a tough gun to beat at any price. Number 4. Winchester Super X4 A recent member in the family of Browning Winchester semi-autos spawned by the Browning Gold back in the 90s. The X4 is made to be a budget gun, but it still comes packed with features. A redesign of the X3, it features a larger square safety as well as a larger bolt handle and bolt release button for easier use in cold weather. It has a bright True Glow bead too for those who like them. Inside it has the same excellent, reliable, easy to maintain soft shooting gas system of the Gold X2 X3 family. The 3 inch 12 gauge black synthetic model can be had for as low as $800 and a 3.5 inch version is about $100 more. Need further proof that this is a great shotgun for the money? 
SX4 recently beat out a crowded field of semi-autos in the sub-thousand dollar range, establishing itself in the eyes of the test teams as the best value in a waterfowl gun. Can spend less on a duck gun? Of course, but it's worth stretching even the tightest budget to move up to the X4, which can hold its own in the blind among the Benelli's, Beretta, and Browning's. Number 3. Remington V3 Remington's V3 uses the ingeniously simple VersaPort system, which was developed for the 3.5-inch VersaMax so it could shoot everything from the lightest to the heaviest loads with reliability and low recoil. Not all gas guns can make that claim, even models that cost much more than the humble V3. It's not a good-looking gun, but it is loaded with inner beauty. It's lightweight, has a great trigger, and it's very easy to maintain. People have hunted and shot with a few, including this one, and they all have been perfect even in extreme cold. Available in 12-gauge only, you can find them new for around $800. Yet, as with the 870 Express mentioned earlier, it's not clear if Remington's new owner will continue to produce the V3, but it is still offered new by some retailers. Number 2. Beretta A400XL Beretta's A400XL is practically the only semi-auto you'll see in the hands of serious sporting clays shooters. Known as the Blue Gun, it's somewhat pricey for a semi-auto at over $1,500, a little more with the highly worthwhile kickoff recoil reducer. On the other hand, it can go head-to-head -head with the far more expensive, up to 12K, Krieghoff, Kolar, Parazzi, and Beretta OUS in top-level sporting competition. And that makes it a real bargain. Diane Sorrentino, who is a dominant shooter in women's events, will shoot nothing else. Berettas are famous for working practically forever without cleaning. Not that you wouldn't, but you could, and rarely malfunctioning. They are a snap to maintain when you do have to take them apart too. With 3-inch chambers, the XL could double as a duck or dove gun, although the blue receiver might offend game birds. Number 1. Browning Synergy CX Originally intended to replace the venerable Satori OU, the Synergy is a futuristically styled ugly duckling that never caught on as it should have. It's an excellent design with a very low-profile receiver and an action built to last practically forever and a very crisp mechanical trigger. Repositioned in the market as a lower-priced alternative to the Satori, it comes in target and field versions in 12, 20, 28, and 410 for around $1,900. But the real bargain in the Synergy lineup is the CX field and target model, which comes in 12-gauge with 30 or 32-inch barrels. Choose 32-inch for targets, or 30 if you want to gun for targets and hunting, and you'll never look back. Yes, the matte finish is cheap and shows any ding as a white scar, but the CX can be found for only $1,600, and it will see you through summer targets, September doves, and fall waterfowl seasons. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.